Welcome everybody. Today we will do something different. Talk about MI 10T and 10T Pro. So since most of the features in MI 10T and 10T Pro are almost same and I will tell you what the difference is. I will just refer to them as MI 10T. Let's start. Zhao is the president of uh, Xiaomi International who did this presentation in an amazing way. My name is Xiao. And I'm the present I actually saw the live streaming of the presentation and I'm really impressed by the way he spoke about this. Since Xiaomi was founded 10 years ago, that is in 2010. Founded just 10 years ago. 2020 is like a 10 year anniversary for them and they wanted to do something really big. And believe me, with the specs, the phone seems to be amazing for the price. So the theme for the entire series is power your creativity. Sir? that really unlocks your creativity. Me actually focused on, they are trying to encourage users to do more photography, more videography and creative styles of photography and videography. I'll explain what it is. To start with, the first important thing is they've given a very big camera with a very big sensor and 108 megapixels. SF 108 megapixel sensor. That's a really good starting point for a camera to set a level. So an important thing that you can now do with Mi 10T series is you can do the long exposure shots. We give you six different long exposure modes. So these long exposure shots are those which you would, you would have seen some photographs where the vehicles would be moving like a ray of light. So they are called long exposure shots. And now Mi 10T gives you the ability to create such shots with your mobile camera. Usually uh, such pics are shot with a big um, DSLR or a mirrorless but now you can do it in a mobile phone. Just imagine how cool it is. The next thing is they are giving you six modes from which you can shoot which is already there you just have to select the mode like filter and shoot the long exposure. So the link is in the description below where you can see what are the six modes that they offer and this is not sponsored. Next important feature is AI Skyscaping 3.0. We've added AI Skyscaping 3.0. With this, you can add a variety of different color tones, motion, or even weather and firework effects. There are nine different modes which you can add different types of effects to your photographs like the crackers or the moving clouds, etc which makes your video more colorful, more immersive. And with this, they're giving you three different modes where you can change the colors. We have added three super cool ways to change the color themes with Cyberpunk, Gold Vibes, and Black Eyes, which will entirely change the color scheme of your photograph. Based on the theme that you're using, your photograph, the next important feature, I love this, is photo clones and video clones. With a few positions and clicks, you can get photos like this. So other than photo clones, you can try video clones. This lets you tell some pretty cool stories without leaving your house. So have you ever seen the photographs where the same person is sitting twice or thrice or four times or how many other times you want in a photograph? I'm talking about the same person multiple times in a single photograph. Now you can do it through your phone without the requirement of any advanced editing softwares. Isn't that cool? You can do it straight through your phone. And video cloning, I mean, I must say cool feature where you can actually clone yourself doing different things in the same video without using any additional softwares to edit. That's amazing. I'm really impressed what me is actually giving the video creators and photo creators the abilities to do through their smartphones this is really awesome this is some next level stuff and to top it all up they are giving you 8k resolution the ability to shoot in 8k and while shooting in 8k you can take 33 megapixel photos so we've included 8k can tap and capture 33 megapixel photos that is just like icing on the cake 
there are some phones which can show it in 4K. But imagine 8K, twice as many pixels as 4K, twice the resolution, twice the details as 4K. Mi 10T Pro allows you to capture more perspectives with three new dual video modes. Dual video, where you can shoot the front and back at the same time with different modes. You can use it to power your creativity. And apart from the video capability and the camera or the cloning feature, another big feature here is... We've ensured that the Mi 10T Pro features one of the industry's very highest refresh rate. Refresh rates. Till now, the phones have been able to offer step up from 60 to 90 or 120. But here, they are giving us 144 hertz refresh rate and they're calling it adaptive sync, which is impressive because it gives you 144 hertz and at the same time, it helps you save the battery life. How does it do it? Whatever content is going on on the screen, based on the content and its requirement, it will give you the most optimal, efficient and best screen refresh rate that is required for that content. And they call it Adaptive Sync. And this can go up to 144 Hertz. Wow! 144 Hertz. Wow! That should be, that should be smooth. 144 Hertz is just smoother and amazingly so. Call Adaptive Sync. Adaptive Sync gives you more than 8% battery remaining after 6 hours of heavy use. Motion estimation and motion compensation is something they use behind this adaptive sync to make it cooler. It saves a lot of battery. Motion estimation, motion compensation. So the next thing is, so they give a sunlight mode to top it all. They put this light sensors, they call 360 degree light sensors, front and back of the screen, which will actually, if you turn on the sunlight mode, it will gauge what is the brightness around even if it is at the back of your phone and makes your phone look right with the right light and the right brightness on the screen so that you don't have to worry about dim screens anymore. We've included an all new advanced sunlight mode. Ken T Pro has adopted an advanced 360 degree light sensor. And right opposite to it, they've also given you a reading mode 3.0 which will actually optimally reduce all the other lights that is not required while you read. Reading mode 3.0. I can confidently say that this is one of the very, very best displays on the market this year. We chose the leading Qualcomm Snapdragon 865. They have been liberal at least to give 5000 mAh battery. All this up is one of the biggest batteries ever. Which, uh, which uh, they're, they're using the same they call it new, but a similar technology has been already used in Realme X2 Pro where the battery is not charging from one side, but the battery is divided and they are charging from the middle. Called middle, middle tap. So that both parts of the battery charges equally and that makes charging faster. They call this MMT, middle, middle tab. <laughs> Sounds funny, but that's what they named it. And they've included a 33 watt fast charger. Um, which, which, will, which is supposed to charge the 5000 mAh battery with that MMT mode in around one hour. The last important thing I want to mention here is the haptic motor feedback. We've extended the creative experience to feel as well with an advanced X-axis linear model. Usually the motor vibrates in a Z axis, vibrates like this, but this motor vibrates like this. So it usually vibrates in x-axis. It is supposed to improve um, the haptic feedback without causing the bad sensation in your thumb finally. Do they know how to advertise, how to market? Yes, they've come up with, they claim that they've come up with some new uh, antimicrobial technology, which is on the silicon case that they're releasing. And it seems they've tested it extensively they have given a lot of data about it. Mi 10T Pro comes with antibacterial accessories included. On the front, we've also pre-installed an antibacterial screen protector. I don't buy it, but uh, it's supposed to be really cool. It's still good that they are uh, trying to uh, market it uh, a way in which the current scenarios are disturbing people. 
and one important thing uh, that should be that should have been at the top if it were me is they have reduced the plastic in the packaging material by 60% now i don't know what it was before but they're claiming that it's been reduced by 60% and yes i'll take it at the face value i hope everyone reduces the consumption and usage of plastic so that uh, the earth can live a little longer and support life for a little longer Hi. we've taken a big step forward and reduced packaging plastic by about 60% that's for completely another video but this is good effort me good effort now like i told you there is one big difference it's not that big but it's bigger based on what you want from a phone between mi 10t pro and mi 10t that is mi 10t pro has 108 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization but mi 10t has a 64 megapixel camera and doesn't have an optical image stabilization but both of them offers 8k videos it and t pro is built to power your creativity and mi 10t has nearly all the features of mi 10t pro and you can choose whatever you want and the price is 499 euros and for more ram just 549 euros and the mi 10t pro will start at just ready 599 euros and for double the storage 8 plus 256 gigabytes at just 649 euros and prices are really impressive but i i don't know if the world is ready yet to pay this price for an mi phone because mi phones are usually considered as less expensive options for costlier phones but now what this new trend is the new trend that's happening is this chinese manufacturers made be mi or realme they're still releasing phones at a lower price bracket but they're also trying out to bring flagship quality mobile phones to the market price it a little lower at least 35 to 40% lower than the actual flagships of other companies so that makes them feel still still a non expensive option for the qualities Uh, and the flagship that they offer but it's not premium there is a difference between being premium and being flagship quality see even if apple when it released iphone se it was premium but it it was not flagship it was premium this mi is a flagship phone i don't call it premium but it's a flagship phone it has everything that you need for you to use the phone for the next 3 years without worried without feeling that your phone is from stone age you can do that with this phone but if you take apple phone even if apple is see which is a premium phone but not a flagship phone you can easily use it for 5 years it's called max this iphone 6s plus and i got it in uh, early uh, september 2016 and i'm still using it today and it is still faster than most of the android mobile phones if you were to have bought it last year So that is the difference between being premium and flagship. So Android's age usually is around three years, but Apple iPhones' age is around five years. First up, my personal favorite, Luna Silver, Cosmic Black, and the stylish Aurora Blue. I think this phone has a lot to offer, and at this price point, it is an interesting offering. And once uh, when I have the handset with me, I'll definitely try to do an unboxing. and a long term review at least i will i would use it for creating content at least for a few videos and then let you know how it is once i get the phone thank you thank you mi for your effort in doing so much especially reducing the plastic and giving such a big sensor in the phone and the video cloning long exposure photo cloning you have really thought of what the user wants so thank you mi for this amazing phone and uh, thank you guys for watching Let me clear up again. This phone was really amazing. That's the reason I'm so excited about it. But this is not a sponsored video. Thank you all. Love you, and keep watching.